Flatfish, welcome to Flatfish. How long have you been here? 35 years. 35 years. Can you believe it? 1979. Not here, but we set the company up in 1979. In Grimsby? In Grimsby. I worked for my dad in 1978 for a year. He taught me how to fill it and then he said, go work for yourself. Well, he didn't just bring you into the family business? No. It was like a bit no, tough and I still don't forgive him for that. <laughs> <laughs> we set the company up with two people in 1979. First year we turned over about £45,000 and we've had a lot of investment on that journey. We've had to with what's happening in the industry. 35 years later we've got a, in excess of a £10 million business. We're BRC version 6 accredited, we've got an A grade. We've been BRC accredited for the last six or seven years. Um, as the year's gone it's got more and more difficult. We've recently been accredited with, with the A grade and we're very proud of that. It comes at a price, it's a big investment, the systems are expensive, but we're there and we maintain them. BRC is not just about being accredited on that day, it's about being out of that standard every day, which is where we are. One of the small extras that we'll put in, we've washed our hands, we've dried our hands. Before we can enter the factory now, we're now going to sanitise our hands. Nobody can get in the factory without sticking your hands in here, squirt sanitizer. you can then go through. Your hands are now sterile. What we've got in the, in the fish reception this morning, we've got a place from a, a North Sea boat that's landed in Grimsby this morning. These are what we call number four size. This is off um, a Jubilee boat, Saynet, fantastic quality. We've got boats from landed fish into us from Cornwall, place being delivered and lemon sole from Scotland, Peterhead. This was landed in Peterhead last night, landed into us, delivered to us first thing this morning. Although we've got boats on contract landed in Grimsby, it, that can never be enough for us. We've got boats all the way up and down the East Coast that's in, involved in a fishing programme for us. Um, all the way from, and all the way down Cornwall's coast. All the ports in Cornwall we're all connected into. Uh, the company's been growing since we moved to this building uh, and it's been a 10 year project to actually get to the position where we are now with all the modern machinery that you see. Uh, we've got automated filleting machines. We've still got traditional filleting. We've got um, traditional packing lines but we've also got automated packaging lines so we've got quite a complex system for primary processing which is really what we are. As the fish is coming where that wheel is what it's doing is measuring the fish from its nose to its tail. That sends a signal to these arms that drop down and it'll place itself right at the back of the head of the fish. As it's rotating round it'll turn and there's a circular blade that cuts its tail off turn again, remove its head and drop the, the whole fish down here. There's a further eight blades inside here that slice the fillet off the bone. And that's an absolutely perfect fillet. This is a sort of, this is a sort of wastage that we're getting it from. A perfect head cut, perfect tail cut, and these bones are really polished. If we were talking about investment, we can buy a skinning machine for £10,000. This skinning machine is £100,000. Um, and the difference between this skinning machine is that it's a freezer barrel inside. It freezes the skin as the fillets come through. Lemon soles are place a very delicate, very delicate flesh. Most skinning machines, or all skinning machines except for this one, rip the skin off. We're freezing the skin, it comes on the barrel, and we wind a bandsaw blade that comes really close to the skin. That way, this is the only skinning machine that actually cuts, slices, the skin off the flesh. Absolutely no disadvantage to the flesh at all. And again, high value products with place, lemon sole, 65 fillets a minute we're, we're skinning. We've got to have full control of our yields. What we've got is the skin fillets coming off down this side. What we've put here is a, is a separator. These are the fillets that's unchecked. What the people are doing on here is checking for bones, a further check for bones. Any bits of row bag, they'll pull a row bag out and on, in this particular product, they're cutting a the dark membrane off and just in case there's any bits of skin that's on the fillets, they'll cut that off or re-skin it. Then the fillets placed on here, this is a finished product size. It's 100% boneless, 100% skinless, all of a very, very high grade. Hand filleting is an important skill to us. I myself used to be a filleter, I filleted. We still employ 10 full-time filleters throughout the year, but what this lends itself to us as a business with being seasonal is the spikes of landings. During the summer months we're getting big spikes of landings. These machines are a big investment, but boy, they're very, very efficient. And during the winter months, 
we can run one machine or on no machines and just run our business on the 10 filters. So it gives us the flexibility of the 120, 130 tonnes of fresh fish a week down to 10, 12 tonnes a week. We still have to be a commercially viable, efficient business. Part of our sustainability story is we've, we're introducing farm halibuts. It's abs these are absolutely magnificent. They're so fresh, it's unbelievable. Again, it's a flat fish. It's a fillet cut up the he head. Find a rib cage all the way down, up and over the spine, conscious to get every bit of meat on the fillet. We've introduced this to our business, um, farm fish, last year, and we've seen significant success with this product. It's a brilliant product. Again, because this fish is so expensive, anybody who's ordering wants a 100% prime cut. I'm going to completely remove the belly wall. That side the same. Absolutely fantastic fish, halibut, my favourite fish. Down the other side of the spine. Fuck up and over. There's no waste on that. The bones are polished. And what we're going to do with this fillet? These fillets are very expensive. There's probably about a 700 gram fillet. These are off um, two to three kilo whole fish, and these fish are five years old. In the tail, we've got a quite a thick skin, the halibut. I'm going to remove the skin. This is a really high end product. What I'm going to do with this fillet is line it. Again, it's important that we use all this fish, including the tail. We'll tuck the tail under there. So, what you've got here is skinless, pure halibut fillet. This is the sort of type of fish that you'd probably expect to see in a Michelin star restaurant. It's pure white halibut, it's just an amazing high-end fillet. We've had a project um, we've been working on over the last two years with a local fishing company um, whom we have um, encouraged to uh, get MSC accredited and we've now got full chain of custody for um, Marine Stewardship Council for Place, North Sea Place. So the boats catch the fish in the North Sea in an MSC ground. They landed at Grimsby Fish Market, which is now MSC accredited, and the fishing company um, are the boats that land it as well, send it over to us after it's been weighed and graded, and we are also accredited. So we've got full chain of custody. So what we've basically created is a one-stop check sheet um, we do have the independent check sheets, more specifics for weights, temperatures and things like that. But this is pair batch, pair product. So every product that we produce, we've got full traceability, the original batch code comes in. So at a, at a touch of a button, and this is live as well, this is being transmitted back to the server. So if I'm at the other end of the building, we can access what's being checked at any one time. If a customer calls up, we've got that instant access to this on a computer without having to go through weeks worth of paperwork. This is a business I've had to look harder and harder at British fish. And I tell you what, it's been a fantastic refreshing find that we've developed British fish, we're pulling British fish through and it's absolutely magnificent. And since then we've done nothing but invest in our business for British fish. It really, really is one of our key strengths. We're getting an awful lot of fish from Cornwall, Scotland, here in Grimsby Boats on contract, bespoke fishing programs for our company on flatfish.